Unfortunately, there aren't many places left on this planet where the conditions are still fairly pristine and life thrives. That is even true of our oceans. Take the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. The Northwestern Hawaiian Islands have some of the most pristine um, coral reefs in the world. There are very few coral reefs that are um, top predator dominated. A top predator coral reef is a coral reef that still has um, the large predators um, as part of the food web. So for example, they have large sharks that, are, um, that prey upon the fish, um, the larger fish that prey upon the coral reef fish. So it has all the different levels of the food web still intact. Where most coral reefs, those top predators, the really large fish and the sharks have been hunted so that they're, the reefs are basically the small tropical fish is what's left in the reef ecosystem. I've always wanted to explore that place and when we were there for six weeks we were very very surprised to see how much we are trashing that place which is a very very special place where a lot of research is taking place, a lot of scientists are working, we're finding new species all the time. There are endangered species which are protected like the monk seals, the green sea turtles and so on. And to see all that trash which was coming from all over the world, I counted 52 different countries represented there. Uh, I wanted to communicate that to our decision makers. President Clinton passed an executive order um, requiring that the United States government look at establishing the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands as a sanctuary. And then it was in the designation process, which is an in-depth public process in which the government gets public input on what the regulations and the boundaries should be for a sanctuary. That process can take a long time, several years in fact. Sometimes it helps to have a famous name and a TV show. Through connections that uh, we have in, uh, in uh, Washington, D.C., we got to the president. And on the 15th of June, 2006, he declared the Northwestern Hawaiian Island a marine national monument. Former President Bush didn't stop there. In early 2009, he created three more national marine monuments. As a result, we are near 300,000 square miles of protected ocean and land and underwater sea mounts and so on, which are very special, very critical, and it's uh, a territory which is almost as big as Spain. These areas are now all protected the same way a marine sanctuary might be, preserving life under the sea.